Hey there, gamers! Mark the Lone Gamer here, and we are back in our new Skyrim modded Let's Play. When last we saw our Imperial adventurer and Dragonborn, Selene, Shieldbreaker, Imperial living this kind of life. She was being interrupted as a lot of Nords would like to believe by her house car. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's been a slight while since the last episode. Apologies. I guess I took a bit of a break. The last episode of uh, Light Wielder kind of uh, was pretty exhausting. Um, and aside from that, it seems that uh, people are kind of busy right now with uh, probably Christmas preparations or this being the holidays. So it seems to be a bit slow, but still. We'll do what we can to give you entertainment via our role plays and well, let's play in this case. So, when last we saw, yes, uh, Celine, we were investigating the steam crags of Eastmarch, where we found the Atronach stone, and we fought not one, not three, but two dragons, and Celine defeated them. Full disclosure, after that we went back to Whiterun to upgrade the armor that we acquired from some bandits on the road. And Celine, as you can see, is now wearing the armor. So it's uh, originally called the Spellbinder armor, or Runic Spellbinder armor. We've renamed it to Spellblade armor. So the boots actually we had before already, so we chanted that with uh, Fortify Two-Handed. The gauntlets are actually not the uh, the Runic Spellbinder gauntlets because the Runic Spellbinder uh, sp sp bleh, Spellbinder gauntlets look crappy. They just look weird. They're over oversized. They look like skeletal hands. They just they're just bad. And I think they're pretty much the same quality as the uh, steel plate. I think the steel plate looks pretty good. Uh, the circlet is still the same orcish circlet that we have have had for a while. And the cuirass, we gave uh, magical regeneration. So yeah, we renamed a lot of our equipment uh, using Jackson's renamer. We still have our necklace of waiting fire, our hood, and our, our two rings. And we have uh, an amulet of Zenithar just in case we need to sell stuff. And that's about it. Oh, right. We got... Uh, when we went to White Run, we also got our new sword. So this was a Skyforge Steel Greatsword that we were given by Jarl Balgruf along with our new player home in uh, Valheim Keep. So we had this upgraded at uh, War Maidens to exquisite so it's actually same damage as the beast greatsword that we had before still have this uh, our glass hammer we gave our old sword to to Zora here she has it and uh, well these days we'll probably take away uh, the the Nordic hero axe stuff what Just because she isn't using it. Alright. Oh! Alright. Who are you? Oh, bandits. Alright. Oh, we archer. So there's an archer. Alright. No yielding. Right, we were injured a bit. Alright. 
so these bandits Celine suspects they came from that fort that she found last episode we're going to investigate that fort let's loot these there they go oh all right so arrows backpack of debella a pricey bow but it's not very good but it's something we can sell hunter armor I've lived in Skyrim my whole life and never left. I'd like to visit Cyrodiil someday, though. My father told me to visit once. Right. Are you still alive? You're still alive. Uh. Done. All right. We can question the morality of killing uh, unconscious uh, enemies in another video. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want them waking up behind us. She's no saint, Celine. She's a warrior, she's very pragmatic. If you go up against her, don't expect to survive. And she doesn't give mercy nor expect any. In between this and the uh, last episode, I tried to install Northern Roads, which uh, Apparently, it's a bit of a, a bit of a hot mod right now. So what it does is that it uh, well, it, it supposedly changes the roads, but not only that, it adds stuff like uh, it changes the bridges, it adds various points of interest, and lots of visual add-ons like uh, statues, arches. And basically, it's like uh, interesting roads, but times 10, I guess. And also changes the bridges. Now, we have a mod installed, a new mod called uh, Skyrim Bridges. A viewer uh, suggested that we install a bridge mod, and I've, uh, I've followed the suggestion. I would have used Northern Roads, but every time I installed it, for one, it requires so many patches. I mean, there, there's a, there's a, an entire, a huge collection of patches that you need to install or at least uh, refer to, depending on what you have. And uh, it has a patch for nature of the wildlands, which I appreciate. And I would have gotten it, but when I installed it, all the roads would lose this uh, these uh, stones, the, the textures. They would all apparently change into a dirt road, something like this. Or there was another color, a lighter color. They would all be like that. Starting from White Run, all, all the way, where, wherever I went, I saw they were basically all like this. And there was, in White Run, there was a, a part there where the, the colors change, and there was a very visible and distinct line a seam where they change and I could not for the life of me fix this uh, I was able to eventually remove the seam by putting uh, northern roads at the very bottom of the mod the load order but still uh, the roads did not look good I mean I want the roads to look something like this Th these look nice they they're actually roads but uh, to have them look like just like dirt paths, especially in front of White Run. It didn't look good. And whatever I did, I could just couldn't fix it. And yeah, because it, it requires a ton of patches. Uh, no. Well, you can understand because it changes a huge uh, part of, uh, of the world, which is basically, I guess, all the roads. Uh, anyway, I wish I could have used it, but I guess I'll just settle for having interesting roads and uh, Skyrim bridges. Uh, both of which I think together accomplish what Northern Roads tries to accomplish. I'm not surprised that Nettlebane was infused with dark magic. I'm glad we chose the more watches. Uh, some other mods I installed was uh, a gesture animation uh, redux and NPC animation redux. Greetings. So when you talk, uh, NPCs should be a bit more 
lively in the way they uh, move when they talk to you. On we go. Still here. So, for example, when we talk to, um, let's ask her a short question. How about this? All types: bandits, wizards, heroes, and alchemists. Oh, and skeletons. They used to be all four. Oh, <laughs> no movement at all. Um, it's not just for show. I thought the necromancers seemed to think so. All right. Nobody takes me seriously. Right, she doesn't seem to want to move her hands <laughs> a lot. Oh, there. The choice was an amulet of Mara. Then the boys were quite certain of my intentions. Even if that was just for show. All right. Right behind you. Yeah, uh, supposedly more of that. I've seen some of the videos. They really look good. Uh, the way they were moving, but we'll see. Anyway, yes, we'll head towards. Oh, let's, uh, let's have a break first. Let's eat the last of our fishy sticks and have some water. All right, so Celine doesn't know it. Of course, we know it that this place is called Mistwatch, and ordinarily you find out about this in the game. Uh, when you encounter an NPC called uh, the Frightened Woman who, who tips you off that uh, the bandits here at Mistwatch are kidnapping and holding people for ransom. But we're here. Alright, the, the guard just left to pursue a rabbit. You're not very good. Alright. Hey, bandits! Right there. Ow! All right. All right. Wow! All right. Whoa! Uh, Titan missed. There's stuff we might forget, and uh, Lucian uh, called up his Daedra again. Uh, let's. We haven't been calling our Daedra, which is probably a lot more powerful than Lucian's Clan Fear. Where? Is oh. oh, he didn't call the Daedra. He called your Daedra. Why is he's here? Right. right, that wasn't very hard, I guess. So what we have here is a rather interesting fort. I think that uh, Selene has made it her hobby taking forts. Maybe she's thinking of... Uh, owning this one as well but I don't think you can uh, take Mistwatch for uh, law, law, Lawbringer I think it's I guess for uh, lore wise or at least story wise it's probably too remote uh, for any hold guards to occupy it and this is Stormcloak territory, so it would be hard for the Legion to occupy it as well. So I guess this will permanently be a bandit fort. But that won't stop us from uh, kicking some bandit ass while we can. Alright. Let's turn on our lantern. Alright, at least the lighting is okay. Hey, who's there? Uh, you over here, quick. Is someone here? Show up. Stendar's mercy, you aren't one of them. Please, you've got to help me. 
It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. I'm sorry. I just... Your Viola, my woman. I heard a rumor that I managed to sneak right, past the guards and get, get this, this far, but I don't think I can go on. I'm no warrior. Please, thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. One of the guards dropped this key while I hid. I wager it'll come in handy for you. Please hurry. All right, this guy may give an impression that he's old, but I don't think he's old at all. Just the beard. But yeah, Krister, one of the rare instances of uh, NPCs who have, or quest NPCs who have, who have a bit of a larger role than just giving you a quest and just giving you a reward. Oh. Don't let yourself up. Don't get hit. Same. Nope. Didn't, Let's go. Didn't want to talk to you at the at that moment. All right. Look at that darkness. All right. Before we. All right. She's still alive. Ah. Let's let her leave her be. I guess for now. She wakes up later and uh, is trouble, and we'll kill her then. Ooh, you're a vampire. I guess she's a vampire. Hmm. Eh. All right. Where's the other one? Ooh, do I have more war axe? Nor Ooh, two axes! Alright. Those boots, they're not very good. I'm always looking for boots to give uh, Zora better boots. It's kind of hard to find boots for. She, she usually doesn't wear some boots that you seem. you think she'd like. Sometimes she wears heavy boots, but she's overall a light armor character. Right. Butter. So fat glazed bowl. Right. Uh, oh, it has an enchantment. We'll take it. Though I think we already have that enchantment. Right. Oh, what's in this? Nothing. All right. My no prisoners. My father was an engineer, and my mother was a companion. So bandits Let's generally. Go. All right. Maybe the space should be called Rain Watch or Storm Watch. Oh, who are those people? Who are those people? Ooh! Alright, more bandits. Will we be encountering them later? Oh, oh. um. Use our new shout. Frostman! Ooh! Whoa, that we All right. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Ooh, all right. 
that guy got hit a lot. Ooh, fierce, fierce skirmishes. Dwarven bow, which is actually not very good compared to the other bows that we've found. Bosmer, Karas. Ooh, is that Fiola? Oh no, we are too late. Sure, I'll carry what I can. Uh, you're no, no longer... Showing off Haldir's staff. If you're not going to carry it, I'll take it. And uh, just carry those. Oh, she's he's getting. Uh, I won't give him that. He might wear it. Oh, he wore that. I guess that's fine. The other one was just a uh, just a hood. Oh, that's actually not bad. All right, that's good. That's good. Actually, you can keep that. All right. So if you're not going to show off Haldir's staff, you give it to me. I've got your back. All right, and well, I think we're we're going to concentrate on using the sword. So I think uh, we can uh, carry the staff again. We like having uh, all their stuff. Oh, it's Imperial. So, I guess this is Fiola. She is dead. Poor Krister. Come here. His wife is dead. Oh. Oh, look, look at the staff. Uh, we added some new uh, animations uh, called Gotia uh, animations for uh, spell casting and for uh, enchanted staves, wielding enchanted staves. All right. Unfortunately, um, oh, what what if we? Why don't we carry this staff in one hand? Look that that looks so much better. That looks so cool. And if we cast it. Alright, no, let's not use this. <laughs> let's not use it. Oh! Why? No! Alright, if it's not being used, it's there. Alright. The dual sheath is a bit finicky. But uh, I still love that it does what it, what I've always wanted it to do. So we can have staves on our backs, as well as shields. Nordic arrow. Right. Maybe uh, Lucian, we can see you carrying staves. All right. All right at least the rain has stopped. What's going on? Oh no! Oh, we were... Oh yeah, there was that vampire. So, oh... Alright. I don't think there are other vampires here, so let's use the potion. We do have a potion. We, we have, right? Alright. Alright. Are we okay? Oh, we can level up. Steal yourself. I don't like the looks of this. All right. This place looks a bit cleaner than usual. All what? right, Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? <laughs> you know, they could have uh, kept the reveal for a bit longer, but no, it's right there. Bandit leader Fiola. <laughs> Fiola? How do you... Christer? He's here? The fool's my husband. I left that old scab. It didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. So now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a peace. And it won't end here. 
I'd die before I went back. So she's a uh, she she, she became a bandit chief on her own free will. You think so? Let's see who the real woman is here. All right. What? I wish she was tougher. That was a good workout. She should have been tougher. I mean, if they're going to have her be this charismatic or very skilled bandit leader, she should have been tougher. I wish there were mods that made that so. No, she's just an ordinary bandit. And there's a bit more that has to be done. Vanguard. Hmm. Will will. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Something on your mind. Zora. Okay. Trading things is always fun. Sea dogs. All right. Finally, she wears them. Two hands right. are better than one. So. Fiola is dead. I'm going to have to tell Krista. And that's pretty stupid. Um, the way this game, uh, I think, vanilla is scripted is really bad. At least I think it's bad. Or there's just... There's just um, an oversight. Or maybe it's a glitch. That you'll see. Okay. Anyway, Fiola is dead dead uh, at least we owe Krista to take her and uh, oh how can uh, I help you uh, no, no, I'll no, be right behind fine. you uh, uh, all right where's the bed let's just put her in the bed Let's go tell Krister the bad news. <laughs> it's one of the stupidest things that you could do. I don't think the Dragonborn should be that tone deaf. Uh, this, uh, common cup boots, common stitch boots, leather helmet. I think we are full with books. Ooh. Ooh, right. Oh, you wake! See? She woke up. Alright, that's the danger of leaving enemies behind you alive. She woke up, and now she's uh, sitting down. Oh, well, that taught... Um, that taught Celine a lesson. And you can take your uh, hood again. Uh, Alright, that is creep. That is creepy. Uh, how's Carl? Still here. Take some stuff. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Take that. Take those. What news? Why isn't Fiona with you? So we have one option. To tell him the truth. What? My Fiola would never! You monster! I'll kill you for this! Alright. So we use the chill pill power. And look at this. So. Take two. Krister. What news? Why isn't Fiola with you? And look. You have three options. Maybe it's a it's a bug, it's a glitch, or some scripting thing. But you have the option, so you can again tell him the truth, 
You can say she's dead, but I found this. You found her ring. Or you can say, I found the ring, but no sign of her. So better that he find out that she's dead. That I gave it to her on our wedding day. Help me, divines. It's true, isn't it? I'm sorry. Keep the ring. I cannot bear the weight of them in my heart. And I must make the journey alone now. Thank you for... Thank you. Alright, so... That should be it. Hmm. Why... Do we exit? I will find you, Viola. Alright, that weird... But I think he's... He should be going... Why are you there? <laughs> anyway, so at least uh, here, Christers, we didn't have to kill Christer. But that was only because we used a, a very powerful mod power, which shouldn't be. So I think it's really, that's one of the uh, limitations or the, the flaws of this, of this quest. It really should have been, it really should have given you the option to lie to him straight off. Anyway, time to go. Where's... I'm right here. Yes, you should be relaxing. Lead the way, my hero. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, that's relaxing. Uh, you know what? Let's... Yeah, let's... Uh, What's new? Lead the way. She has the right idea. It's... Anyway, it's late. Let's have some food. And uh, start fresh tomorrow. Uh, we also installed uh, something about uh, LOD uh, for uh, for Sky Skyland. So I think uh, the distance, the distant terrain looks better. I guess, but it's. It's blurred because of depth of field, so uh, whatever. But still, I guess it looks good. Looks better. I like the lighting. It really looks nice and realistic. I still really appreciate this uh, ENB that we have, which is uh, nature's view of Tamriel or natural view Tamriel. It's really nice. So, yeah, we took the long way intentionally because we, we want to adventure a lot more. Celine wants to see some action, which she might regret. I don't think so. Celine doesn't regret much. Who are you? You look very tall. Uh, hello? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Huh. That's right. Eh. You're not worth the time. Are we in the right direction? Alright, we seem to be headed... Huh. Oh, that's weird. I think uh, we made a wrong turn. We should be somewhere. We should have taken a turn towards Iverstead. And uh, yes, there we go. And we didn't have breakfast. We missed this very sharp turn. Uh, bread and salad. And. Uh, Let's have that candy we found in Mistwatch. Alright. Yikes. Yikes.
Wow! The damage! Are you fighting? Are you fight? Ah! Oh. If it's not Zora, it's it's Lydia. Stop it! Stop fighting! War freaks! You're not hurt. You're not hurt. Alright. I'm the one worst. Worst hit. Alright, this bear. Ooh, greater. Packs a punch. I think this bear can one shot Celine very easily. It's very easy to underestimate bears at this point. You think you're very strong. Oh, that's really creepy. Well, they're supposed to be creepy. They're Daedra. Alright, let's continue. So, yeah, this is the first time we're coming here at this point. Ooh! Um, what a weird pig. Ah! Come on, draw your sword. Ooh. Oh, why did you miss? All right, stupid animal. Uh, we're fine. Let's get this stuff. So I can't wait to find mo better weapons i know that there's a lot there's a lot of really good two-handed weapons especially um i think it was given away by the loading screens that there are some weapons i think there's the the thane's weapon for morthal is a battle axe so i want to actually do that quest just to get it i'm sure probably isn't one of the better weapons, probably not that strong, just like the Great Sword of White Red wasn't that strong. But it's still nice to have. I think they always have some special ability. Like the Great Sword of White Red has uh, a bonus against dragons and has fire resistance. I wonder what the Morthal uh, weapon will give. Alright, another cave so this is definitely a warlock dead of some sort let's go for it Maybe we'll find something Uh. Oh. oh why uh. why are we missing <laughs> all right do we have to crouch to hit those come on that, that uh, that's the one thing that I think Precision has a, a fault. Ow! Oh. Alright. It's a fault of precision that smaller enemies tend to avoid. Dead. 
That'll teach them. Right. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, that was cool. <laughs> Hide boots of sneaking. I think we already have that enchantment, but it's fine. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh. I thought we'd be fighting a hag raven. <coughs> Orchid, okay, no. Oh. Still don't know where Lucian is. Oh, she dagger throwing? Oh, we already have that. Now I have to say this this place is a bit of a a sad dungeon to go through because it doesn't seem that they are. You can we can probably assume that they were since uh, they were witches or warlocks, they are probably uh, preying on uh, on passersby or. Uh, attacking uh, people but there's no sign of that so we basically just killed people who were just living out here by themselves oh 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 yeah there's a hag raven oh well hag ravens are evil Hag graves is that evil? That's fine. All right. Ah, yeah, still. Could have made it more obvious that they were dangerous, because that's always that's always something that you could uh, question the that if you were a hero you shouldn't just go indiscriminately just killing beings just because you think they're evil they should be obviously evil at least if you're playing a good character I mean, if you're just playing just a regular mercenary or cell sword you don't really care I guess let's have Hello, uh, oh, Lucian. Well, how? Where did you come from? <laughs> what can I do for you, my friend? Oh, you—you you were knocked out. You can see that because Go he ahead. load me up. Because he doesn't have his stuff. Ordinarily, these are dangerous. I don't think it'll starve to death, but you know what? Let's free it. Maybe it will be. It will be uh, grateful if we free it. At least, uh... Alright, is there no treasure? Nope. Uh, maybe we could just, uh... Just enchant stuff. We have some stuff. Uh, it's just to get our... We don't have... Anything, uh... Are flawed Varla stones, like, uh, usable, reusable, or they're just used up? I think I, I, I was of the... I thought they were kind of like lesser versions of the... Of Azure Star. Probably not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not. 
I want to try those on. I guess you you could uh, just feed the spigot. It's not going to be hostile. It just goes, which is good. These you free uh, creature. I don't think we'll be making it to Ivor's Dead in time to end this episode. It's a bit of a long episode, but that's fine. We have no limitations on how long this. LP is going to go. So, yeah. It's fine. We'll definitely make it there by next episode. If you have it... Ooh! Eh. That is so niche. Now let's, uh... Uh, Thane. Yes, please carry these. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Uh, okay. Alright. Guess this place is better in third, in first person. Uh. Whoa! Oh, we, we did it! Wah! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Shit! <laughs> we almost died! If we died there right now, I'd be really pissed. At least we found this place. Alright. Still here. <laughs> that was close. You know, there, there are not enough of these giant spiders. They're actually... I really find them really creepy. But they're a really good enemy. They're a really scary enemy that's... Oh, God. Lucian, why? Why? Ah, I should not have given you that re reanimation staff. Though, I guess at least he's using it. It's, that's good. So... Should we go here? Yes, it's supposed to be... Exit, I guess. All right, this is. This should lead outside. Uh, that that close call at the end, I guess, made that place, made that dungeon. So, yeah, well, let's keep on, keep on trudging. You can make it to Iverstead after all. Let's hurry a bit. I'm sure nothing else will happen be between there and here. Hmm. What's this? Hello? Uh, are they gone? Are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. We didn't say yes, though. Alright. Oh, it's this just across the bridge. Another new back. bridge. I, I like this. I actually like this. Very good suggestion uh, to add uh, bridges of Skyrim. I like it. 
it really does change up a lot of the familiar sights. We're close now. I can see the camp. Hmm. Wait here. I'll be right back with your reward. Hello. Look. What? You traitor! <laughs> Oh, I do. That was weird. Whoa. Whoa, is that him? No, it's not. Just some other guy. Where did he come from? Oh. Get it? Because it's snowing. Whoa. Right. Where is our sword? Alright. Alright, you're dead. There's someone else here. I think that other guy was the one who was usually is usually here yep that's the victory sound you here nope yeah that guy suddenly appeared in the steel armor that was the I think he's supposed to be the boss though you'd think that Telrav was the boss maybe he's just uh, their front guy What? Steel War Axe of Dying? Doesn't sound like a very good enchantment. Prevents. Uh, it's fine. It's not, not great. So, yeah, we're supposed to. They're supposed to be bodies. Because the story is, I think, that this place is. They're bandits who... Oh, there they are. Maybe they're just... Well, these are... No, I guess these are victims and... Uh, Passers-by that they tricked. Alright. I know there's, there's a mod that extends this place. Ooh, nice. Well, we already have one of these. Uh, I don't know what it does exactly, but uh, well, we didn't install it. Maybe another time. So, anyone else here? All right, here are the more dead bandits. Ooh, we're taking this and giving it to. Ooh, ah, so much stuff. Anyway, yeah. Uh, oh, you're a girl. Uh, So yeah, next episode I think we'll, we'll probably be at Iverstead when we start the next episode. For now, I guess we'll end it here. This has been Mark the Lone Gamer. And we'll be back with our new Skyrim modded Let's Play with Celine Shieldbreaker and her companions next time. <laughs>